Welcome to Find Your Outdoors. I'm your host, Frank Willem. We've had another great month of shows, and in case you missed any, here are some highlights from all the action in this month's FYL Roundup. If you're gonna go over to uh, the Cape Horn area of Africa, that's the place to dive with great whites. So uh, I said, I'm doing it. And uh, I told my wife that, and she said, no, you're not. And I said, yes, I am. And by the way, you are too. <laughs> I, out of everybody, was the most concerned about it. My kids, Don, they all wanted to do it. And then people were showing me videos of the shark getting in the cage. So I was, I was nervous, but so it was. And she said, no way, I'm not gonna do it. Well, finally convinced her that she needed to at least go. I wasn't sure she was gonna get in there. Any last words at all? You want me to give you a love to Don? <laughs> yeah. This was her last few minutes uh, on this side of the earth. Any last comments? Uh, the drama means not working. <laughs> Do you want any comments for any family members yet you're leaving behind? Good luck living without me. Get a break! Finding our outdoors! I can't believe we're about to do this. <laughs> right. That was the thing, the water not being clear. Um, made it where you really didn't see the shark until he was almost on top of you. <laughs> 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 Just, I've never been around a creature that big in the water and it was just to see him coming straight at you, it was, it was amazing. Was it so cool or so cold, or it's both? Cool. <laughs> cool. Here we are on the Cape of South Africa, and this has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, is get down in the water with the great white shark. I mean, this morning we were headed after a bless buck. We, uh, we saw a wounded one. There was something wrong with his back leg. And so we figured uh, we should probably go ahead and uh, take that one so that it's not suffering. But the problem was, in the time it took us to come back, uh, some Cape Buffalo had just gone across our tracks. We came across some buffalo tracks. Uh, very, very fresh tracks that actually crossed the whole vehicle tracks. And there were the thickets in. So we thought, no, we're not gonna push the limits to go in after him. We're gonna see if we can do another, try another approach. See if we can get the best of the place back that way. But yes, we're all the place safe then, sorry. No, go out of And so, um, we are a little worried about obviously running into a buffalo and potentially getting charged, we decided, you know, there was a trade-off there. You either get a chance to sneak up uh, downwind of this blessed buck and go ahead and take him, or you go upwind, in which case the buffalo will smell you, but the blessed buck will too. The blessed buck are still in there. I didn't see or hear the, the buffalo, although there was tracks coming out. Fresh tracks, uh, the mother split up and come out. We're gonna go for the bless buck. Then um, we're gonna sort of stay wind up. So as we enter the, the bushes, they 
smell as they might run the other way out. But keep your eyes open. Make sure your running shoes are on in case we need to get out of there quickly. Let's do this. And so uh, we decided to go back after some Impala that uh, we had passed on the way to look for the blessed bug. And uh, Marius had said that there was a very nice male in there. Found the first hurt, but I could see it's not the male that we were looking after or looking for. And uh, because there's not too much cover, we had to stand still for a very long time. They don't see us. They did see us, but weren't spooked too much. And so luckily they just slowly walked up and over the hill. So once they were out of sight, we knew that we could start slowly moving forward because we had seen a couple more in front of us and we wanted to see if that male we were looking for was with them. And lo and behold, he was. There was four Impala standing there and he was standing there looking at us, trying to figure out if he could see us. the shot it was right on the shoulder and he ran a little ways and then we found him so impala down this morning yes but he made a perfect shot and then maybe 40 yards impala down picked him up everything top well done Well, I hope you enjoyed the show, and we appreciate you watching, and hope you'll join us next week for another episode of Find Your Outdoors. What does Find Your Outdoors mean to you? To me, it's about the preparation for the hunt, the countless cups of coffee to relieve tiry eyes, the long walks to the honey hole that no one's willing to make, finding the shotgun with the perfect fit to your cheek, hanging out with your best bud. For exclusive discounts on FYO apparel, custom performance shirts, and accessories, visit finderoutdoors.tv. Thank <laughs> you.